Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hey, welcome to our coffee break. We literally have not sat down to have coffee this year yet, I don't think. No. No. You know. So cheers, girls. Cheers. It's been a while. Life's hectic. I haven't hectic. seen yes. you I know. All. Uh, I mean, what is this? We're in February already, or the end of. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the, the new year just started out like crazy. Fire You've been really busy with a contract in the city, right? Yeah, I've been going into the city a couple of days a week. Um, it's really fun just to um, be in this community of Spanish speakers and young people. And You've been you posting know. fun food. I, oh, oh gosh, the South End restaurant mm -hmm. scene is awesome. Yeah, how about so you guys? So you're in the South End? South End, yeah. Yeah, I, I take the train. I, and you know what? I've been going for a few months now. And I have ne the commuter has never let me down, has not let me down. It's been on time, Perfect. on point, you know, the two days a week I go. So, yay, MBTA. Yep. I know they're still struggling. Well, let's face it, if you're, yeah. particularly with some of the squirrely weather we've had, exactly. who wants to be driving? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, get a little exercise, get off at Back Bay, walk a couple of blocks, hit up, you know, these great little tucked-in restaurants are so fun. I love it. That's yeah. Perfect. How about you, Miss D? What have you been up to? I think we've been kind of laying low a lot. I mean, I've been up to, to, I was just up to Maine a week ago. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I saw your post. We, um, I mean, it was very low key. I had to go up for a meeting, the best, but then at though. this, yeah. you know, just getting donuts and, you know, we, we were taking a lot of pictures. I got, you, you, have you seen those infomercials for, oh, I, should, I have them, I should have brought them up, for those like lenses that you can put on your cell yes. phones? Yeah. So I got a set of them, and one is actually oh, a right. um, telephoto lens that you actually have to set on a tripod. and. Um, different things. So I've been playing around with that and Michael got some new lenses for his regular camera. So we were like stopping places just taking shots. So they work? They really do work. I have a fisheye one I that like does it. I mean, and it comes in a really nice case and it was all of like $39. Oh my goodness. Wow. I gotta check that out. Well, your romantic pictures walking on the beach with your hubby in the winter. Oh, I didn't walk on the beach. I stand near the beach. Yeah, it's no, freezing. It had that wistful look. <laughs> wistful look, you know. yeah. But speaking of romance, we oh, have, yeah. a, you know, you, you've been tripping the light fantastic or something. Uh, that's right. Of course, she's wearing more jewelry now. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, indeed. Congratulations. Thank Connie's you. getting married. I am getting married. Yes. So congrats. It's, it's so awesome. I, We're I, bridesmaids. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're, trying to We're getting some, hats. <laughs> hats. What kind of chiffon? What color I'm are we wearing? barbecue. <laughs> And clearly, hey, we can regardless, we're getting hats. We're getting hats. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like our royal wedding. Right. We're getting oh, hats. Yes. No, we're <laughs> going to. What? We Fascinators. I'm, I'm having a low Fascinators and flip flops. Who can, whatever. <laughs> so I have to tell you a funny story. I was um, driving my daughter to the airport, um, had her down to see my mom. My mom's just getting a little old, and that's another topic about aging parents and yes. going through the process. And, and anyway, so I'm driving her back to the airport and she starts talking to me and I think she's talking to me about my son's wedding because my son's getting married in a, a little over a month <laughs> and and frankly that's been my focus like wedding yes so really two. excited about that mm -hmm. and she's like no no mom I'm talking about what you're gonna wear at your wedding yeah and I'm like honey it's just a barbecue casual low-key you know we've all heard about uh, mothers of the bride. Mm -hmm. Well, this is daughter of the bride. <laughs> right, right. You Your daughter's also a designer. Yeah, yeah she's a but, fashion but designer. You're going to be all. <laughs> don't understate it. You'll regret it. You need to do this. I'll come help you decorate. <laughs> oh, no. You need to have these chairs. It may be a barbecue, but you're not setting it. It's hilarious. Right. So maybe Darlene and I will carry the train, Meghan Markle style. You know, in the There's back. not going to be a train. <laughs> we're doing. So, uh, we're, J Jennifer. <laughs> um, it's also getting, she, we're getting hats. Oh, trust me, <laughs> my girl, my girlfriend from high school has told me she's bringing something, okay. you know, it's like, oh my it's God. It's going to be fun. But you know what, exactly. Well, and that's for just, you. That's, that's wonderful. just fine. But we're yes. so happy for you. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm and then, excited. And then in there, you were just saying too, of course, we know Connor, your oldest is getting married. Oldest so your first, getting your first married. marriage of one of your kids, that's yeah. a, just a month or so before you get married. Um. Well, two months. Two months. Is it two months? Yeah, about two months. So you're you know. going to be like major wedding. Yes, like, yes, yeah. yes. Well, well I haven't, you know, mine's like, 
is just a barbecue. It, we're excited. It's so, you but, know, you're but, getting married. That's uh, a yeah, big I'm deal. Absolutely. And I'm very excited. Yeah. But, um, yep, yeah, we're doing that. And we're getting hats. If no one ever we're getting hats. Getting hats. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah. So we're going to meet my daughter's boyfriend's parents for the first time. You know, oh. so that starts, you know, I just met. Things. I just met my future daughter-in-law's parents last weekend. Yeah, isn't that cool? I it mean, is cool. Yeah. Now, of course, yeah. it was all around the wedding shower, so right. a little bit of a mob scene. I would have liked something more intimate, but yeah. it's a whatever. So we've met my son's girlfriend's parents, and that was fun. We see them in the summer on the vineyard, but um, this will be, you know, it's the evolution, but you, well, you know. Well, Trey and um, Kira have been dating. Oh yeah, they've been dating for for years now. I mean, at least four years, and they've yeah. been living together now too, I think. Yeah. So we know, I mean, they, we, they both know them. They're it for each other. But it's yeah, just a, that's cute. Yeah, it's cute, so ah, I know, it's fun. It's yeah. fun, fun, yeah. fun, fun, turning yeah. pages. <laughs> turning oh, pages. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, so here's the challenge, though. Uh huh. You, we we have some societal um, standards, and I do have, we still? No. Well, <laughs> the, but the I thing like is, to hope so. we particularly do. Well, no. But yeah. Part of it is um, considering our definition of success for our children versus what is our children's definition of success. Yeah. And so, yes, I have one getting married. You know, I am so excited. And, mm -hmm. you know, but if my other two don't get married, yeah. that doesn't mean they're not successful. And if I never have grandchildren, even though I'd like to, I'll just adopt somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, you're getting married. You could have more kids. I oh, yeah, them. right. In addition <laughs> to being a medical miracle, it's like, excuse <laughs> me. I you know. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I want to be able happy. to give them yeah. back. Yeah. Oh, of but, course. But exactly, having grandchildren, you know, getting married and having grandchildren should not be a measure of our children's success. So you know. I don't think it is, but I think it's just fun. Well, I think it's fun and no, you know, getting new people is, into your family. Yeah. It is. It is absolutely it's kind of a yeah, society's next push. And, as soon as you I get admit, married, you expect yeah. to have kids and I hope it's all to good. I have grandchildren someday. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, yeah, and no, we have a long choice. engagement in our house. So yeah, it's like that's, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. That's right. So it's you know um, Andrew yeah. graduate of Mass Maritime. Well, he, When's he coming out? Or when he, he already got the diploma mm -hmm. because he finished a semester early, but he'll go through the graduation the ceremony yeah. and walk in June. But um, he got engaged um, this fall winter and um, it's a two year engagement because of Katie's school. But like you were saying with mm -hmm. Kira and Trey, they've been together over four years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. so it's like by the time they get married, they'll be going on six and a half, seven, seven sure. years of being together. Sure. So it's like, you know. They're already family, off. you know, and that's, that's mm -hmm. nice because it is an integration of family and, you know, relationships and, and it's, you know. But it's weird, like, you know, as you meet these different people, too, you met like in kind of like a chaos situation. Yes. Uh, you know, both my kids have been dating their boyfriends, girlfriends, fiancés, whatever I want to call them, for mm -hmm. a long time. I mean, mm -hmm. Andrew's been with Katie for over four years and Melissa's been with Zach for like two and a half years. That's right. Mm -hmm. And um, it's weird to see how parents' personalities like can interact or meld, mm -hmm. where like I'm not close with Katie's family at all. Mm -hmm. I've met them, I've had to see them, we there when we take prom pictures, and that'll be it, mm -hmm. you know. Where Melissa's boyfriend's family, she's the, the mother's become one of my best friends. Yeah. I, I will warn you, though, <clears throat> and, and I have fallen Believe in love with many and we've girlfriend. already decided that if the kids ever break up, we we'll stay together. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, yeah. we probably made a pack. will. Yeah. There you go. Pack. Because That's good. I have had my heart broken with some of my children's significant others, mm -hmm. and you know, for the most part, their parents have lived so far away, so it hasn't necessarily been an issue. But yeah, there's sort of the. Um, oh Aww. yeah, we're, ke we're keeping it, our friendship regardless <laughs> what they I think do. about. You know, Karen dated. Chris Morrison's son, Blake, in high school for a yeah. hot minute, and they were yeah. just cute, and it was fun. But, you know, it didn't even, I, we met Chris and, and Kurt, and, you know, the, the kids part of it. We've yeah. been friends still, and it's just awesome. But, you know, it wasn't a serious thing, like, you yeah. know. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like you, you mentioned, like, Chris and that connection. Then you introduced me to Chris. Yeah. And, you know, we've become somewhat of friends. Mm -hmm. And so, and how much that page for Real Housewives has been helpful. Uh, so like yeah. when Andrew totaled his car and I put up like, hey listen, I'm looking for a cheap car quick. Mm -hmm. She private messages me and like we ended up buying, we bought Blake's car. That's right. And um, <laughs> right, right. the whole kind of full circle of how yeah, things have happened. And um, I feel good that that page continues to and has just is like the glue. It, it, there are other pages and other things, but absolutely. Um, you know, it's, 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 a it's kind of funny what yeah. like some of the hot topics will be. 
I mean, if you talk about like where food can be delivered or pizza, oh, the thread right, will go on right, forever. Right, right. You know, I like that, that uh, hey. thing you posted. The, the, put a GIF about um, oh, the GIF. What? How but, old you were? At, at, when you, yeah. you were born. When you were ten years old. Yeah. Yeah. And all the people just responded in all these funny. It's yeah, but when a couple gym. of them had like you know when they were ten, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air was on, and I'm like, oh my god! god. And one of them had some show from the '90s. I was like, or oh, like the early. You know their 90s. age. I'm like, younger. oh my god! <laughs> and mine was you know Sound of Music. I had <laughs> Elvis and that white like studded thing. That's Beatles. Funny. Beatles. Beatles was the first one that popped up. Was it? Okay, yeah. yeah. I, I was a ten year old, and the Beatles were. Hot mm -hmm. to trot. I was nine. I remember exactly now, what I, I was doing. I have to admit, though, I was shocked. Oh. Well, Peter Tork or the monkeys. The monkey. and course, that, if that had popped up on the GIF, I would have absolutely, because I was a teeny popper, and of course yeah, I followed young, the monkeys. I heard about, they were, but I, I was they shocked were sixth, to find out they were 77, too. Mm -hmm. Like, it just was the oldest monkey. But, that, but for like some reason, when I, saw, when I saw the age yesterday, because working at a radio station, I, I shared the, the Washington Post thing yep. within minutes of it going yeah. up. Mm -hmm. So when I read it, I'm like, he's 77? And stuff like, yeah. they, you know, he just said, I mean, Davy well, Jones was just always cute when we were kids. little kids. Because when the monkeys came out, I remember I was in the sixth grade because people had the lunchbox with yep. the monkeys on there. But I didn't realize till they were doing the obituary tributes on the Today Show that the monkeys was a made up band. It was a right. oh, yeah. together for a TV show like the Partridge. But it was, yep. made, and it was made up as to almost imitate the Beatles. Yes. Okay. Yeah, as a jokey and kind of a thing maybe, right? It really was and the some first their, MTV, if you will. Mm. And some of their biggest hits were written by Neil Diamond. Yes. Yeah, but I, I was surprised, because I was thinking, monkeys, eh, silly. But the songs, I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't know that was a monkey. So Peter Tork and Mike Nesmith were really the musicians. Music. Mm -hmm. And he, Tork, in, in, in particular, is a fairly well-known um, uh, folk musician on his own uh, going well, solo and he gigs. he really played the bass um, guitar. I mean, he right, was but playing I think, in um, New York City, um, and I think Stephen Stills approached him for this. You wow. know, I had no idea that Stills was part of the forming of the Monkees. Well, you know, um, kind of fast forward and just thinking about um, lately, Bill's Pizza in Hopkinton have been having musical oh, yeah. um, every Saturday acts night. On, every Saturday night, and that's fun. And you know, it's a great, it's a great uh, evening mm -hmm. out, of course. And you know, as an empty nester, and it's fun to see all the other empty nesters coming out yeah. and having some drinks. And well, you saw Steve Spector last week, did Steve you go? Steve Spector, and you know, acoustic singing. I love that. It's a smaller space. Yep. The young man who um, Amanda Fauchet sang. Oh my goodness, he is awesome. Oh, oh yeah. So that's why I saw, and I'm like, he was there two weeks ago. Oh wow. And uh, I and loved him. He so it's like a great coffee. House. I believe great, tomorrow night is. Um, my friend Ricardo. Oh, Ricardo! Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my goodness! Darn. Well, Tim's, yeah. Tim mm -hmm. Levitt's played, played there. He played there. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's and um, so it's a good place to go. You yeah. know, get get some drinks, get some Amanda's, food. Yeah. But get there on time or early because you will not get a seat. Yeah. People, well, be, I heard last yeah. Saturday was it was packed. packed. It was fun. Well, yeah, yeah. And stuff that it was really. I was packed. lucky. I ran to John and Johnny, and yes, I was able to I hang out with them. Out of town. You were out of so town. the boys went. I've been out So then Johnny left a little early, and I got his spot. That was fun. So. so yes, indeed, lots of stuff going on. Yeah. I mean, um, this weekend at HAF, they have that um, African dance troupe coming yes. in. Oh. Um, I believe it's tomorrow during the day, mm -hmm. and um, it got picked up by the Globe. I saw that. Really? Oh, yeah. and that is see that. that and um, HCA has has had some incredible programs. And they've so started this thrilled. Broadway series. Mm -hmm. So last month they had a gentleman that came in that had been on Broadway. And I know Mina took the class and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I think it's a combination of almost like a master's class in music okay. and their story and then some singing and stuff. But they have a woman coming next month that I actually saw at the Cumberland Theater um, mm -hmm. when, I, when she was at Towson University in yes. Maryland. I saw her in Hairspray. Oh. And she um, was phenomenal. And she's coming and she's a, um, a jazz singer. Oh, really? I can't remember her name. I remember the Ines Na Navarro. Yeah. So Nazar. if you're not clued into HCA, follow them and get that yeah. information because there's some cool stuff going we've, on. We've got a nice, and, and this weekend is also um, farmers uh, market. Winter, winter Farmer's Market, market at Thank Western you. Nursery. Yep. So iDaz is going to be there. Her, Again? Yeah. She wow. said she well, and, and they're doing a cooking, um, you've heard of the green egg, those, those 
barbecue grill yeah. smoker oh, thing. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. they're show they're gonna do um, some examples of how to cook with them yeah. and different things you can do. So and they usually have music there. It's a nice way to spend oh, a Saturday. It's narrow morning. when you go down going, and throw I'm it. I'm getting fitted for my mother of the groom dress. Going to weekend. Kleinfeld, saying yes to the dress. I'm not going to Kleinfeld, <laughs> but I am going to New York and getting fitted because it's a dress I got. We're going to Kleinfeld. <laughs> 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 we were actually setting an appointment for Kleinfeld. So like, yeah. Go for it, ladies. Oh, no, 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 no. For um, Katie. Oh, She's for Katie. For we Mom, are going to Kleinfeld. I thought you were talking we're, about my wedding. Pictures of the <laughs> we're not sure. You, know, we don't, you never know if you're going to buy, but you go in with a budget and things like that. But um, yeah, you but set you a date. Ideas you set too. You set. You set ideas. And That'd so we're fun. setting a date. There, there's a one tentative date. They, you have windows of appointments, and so we're trying to lock up to make sure that everyone who can go can go that day. But oh, yes, fun. we are going to Kleinfeld. Oh my God, um, that's so fun! Oh um, shoot, that is very cool. Um, yeah, but they, uh, and then, you know, March as we go into March, it's in Hoppington. It's again, we almost have like this counterbalance of gala seasons. Mm -hmm. So it kicks off next weekend with you know the. Um, the red tie event for Live Forever. Right. Okay, There's yeah. the Bay Path event coming up in March. It's a lot March. of fun. And yeah. then the HEF event, which put a different spin on it this year. Um, Heather Smith has um, partnered up with um, um, Carolyn Dowd Fitzpatrick with mm -hmm. um, Wardrobe mm -hmm. Angels, and it's called Denim and Diamonds. Oh, that, yeah. And so I remember the days where like you, we ran out and bought tickets. You mm -hmm. guys in particular st oh, were we the, used to the initials. Oh, no, we used to stalk. I know. And stuff tables. like that. Yeah. And it was gowns and tuxes and, yep. and yeah. you know, we had right. games going on, like oh, I know. You know, gambling yeah. and going on in another room and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now it's like, you know, it's it's a lot more casual, but they have some pretty high end well, options. Well, denim and diamonds, that's sort of fun. You hear yeah. about that in Texas yeah. and the West well, a lot. And, you know, it would be nice. Um, I don't know the dates of it, but uh, I know they get a lot of the school crowd. But it is a fun night out. And, yeah, and, especially yeah. I think that's what they're well, probably we trying to do. Just and we went to the Bay to Path fun. one last year, which was a blast. It the was music a good time. Was um, great. It was you know Michael fun Meehan time. from um, Channel Five yeah. um, was the MC, and um, at the end he had um, set up like this like selfie video thing, and it's like um, I guess. Good, Channel Five in the eye opener was just like you know good morning from whatever. Oh, so mm -hmm. we um they had and all of us do this and it was like you know good morning from Bay Pass you know gala. And he turned what? around and so the whole room was, was in the, there. It was and, in the video um, and, oh, and then yeah. we watched it and we had the clip and he actually did like you know ten seconds on like a pitch on how to help Bay Pass support Bay Pass on a link. So it was job. really he was nice. Fun. I wonder if he'll be back. He is back this oh, year. Be oh, It'll be and, fun. Um, the HEF's gala is, um, they have a unique MC auctioneer this year. Um, Rachel Warrick, um, the manager of um, I think I Marty's. Read that. Uh, Marty's um, well, she's quite a personality. That'll be yeah, awesome. so she's the auctioneer for that one. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they have a spring thing and a New Year's Eve. HCA is no, it's not HCA. HEF. The HEF is, is the spring thing. Yes, the denim yeah, yeah. and diamond. Yeah, yeah. And then the lift so much to keep track of. Oh, good. <laughs> Goodness, yeah. Now, are you going back to the vineyard this summer? Yes, yes. Um, same place? Same place, same time frame. Cool. And, uh, yeah, I know. Like, I um, look forward to it. It just feels like, you know, I love this time of year because it's the onset, the anticipation of spring. You know, um, how winter can't be much longer. I, you I mean, know, I know. Oh, sorry. I, well, I, I find that I hesitate to get too excited particularly when I think of last year in yeah, March where I know. we didn't have, we had a mild winter and then March said, oh, we're making up for I know, we got screwed Or last year's March. marathon day. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God. It was like the worst weather of my. That's right. The worst weather in, in the whole, whole history, history. I think of the marathon. Yeah. yeah. I hope it's better. Um, and, and that event is going on that. again this year um, that um, oh, Western Nursery, Western Start Nursery. Line and Marty's I are partnering together, day, live music. Like, yeah. And it, it was fun. It was just so cold. So I mean, we went. We so, went. Yeah, and and so guys, I only yeah. lasted like literally 30 minutes, and I, I had like VIP passes for the start. And I'm getting texts from people, "You're not here. You're not here." I'm like, "No, no, I'm not sitting on a plastic bag it's at the start tough, line." Good for getting them. drenched. It's a lot of work when the weather doesn't yeah. cooperate. And they're doing yeah. those banners again, the chamber down oh. Main Street. That yep. we did. We, did we get um, to put our ours back up? No, no they no, have to no, buy a new, new one. one. Oh, so we'll talk about yeah. it. Okay. Buy new They're one. dated each year. I see. Yeah. Oh, of course. But it's, yeah. it's a fundraiser for 26.2. Mm -hmm. But if you, they're very reasonably priced. If you want to put a banner up, be part of the marathon. Oh, yeah. The chamber, well, we'll go to the chamber website. Yeah. And you can do a banner. Um, again, 26.2. Mm -hmm. Is the beneficiary um, of it. Beneficiary and, um, of the banners. Um, I think there'll be 48 of them, and I think almost two dozen of them 
are earmarked for community. Mm -hmm. And then a, every few of them, one will be for 26.2 and one will be for BAA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, intermingle through it to promote it. But I, I, th I thought they were nice going down Main Street were, last yeah, year. Yeah, they were beautiful. Absolutely. Very cool. Absolutely. So what's happening with Startline Brewery? Just was thinking about things I in town. Think they'll they're be back, starting up soon? Or? They're back open. I don't know if they're back open full, full. but I know they, they're back open after that fire. Yeah, yeah I'm so glad that. I haven't, yeah. I personally, I haven't been in there just yeah. It hasn't come up on my calendar to yeah. hang I, out in there, but the mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to when the whole thing is open to see yeah, it. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was wondering. That's going to be this year? Yeah, oh, or? no, it's going to be like in April. It's coming up. Oh, like, yeah, it's, it's coming up. Oh, well, that'll be a blast. Yeah, yeah just to go find out, out. what the food will be like now and things like that. Since a lot of the market's totally gone. Yeah. yeah, right, right, right. I mean, they still have the farms, and the farms are still producing for grocery stores and everything mm -hmm. else, but um, yeah, they but, get but they this, make rather hops. But the Burrito Wednesday's gone. Yeah. You know, the yeah. um, but you'll be able to get food there, mm -hmm. and it'll be interesting to see, you know, what else. Yeah, um, you know, it's it's definitely um, has evolved. Mm -hmm. um, and Startline certainly, you know, good for them for having their phenomenal growth. And congrats. Mm -hmm. I know a couple months ago we had on the um, GM for the new restaurant. Central, yeah. Central Public House. And um, we've yeah. been in there ourselves, the three right. of us, a yeah. couple times right after the, since then. Mm -hmm. And it's it seems to be a hopping place. We've done chamber after hours work, so I yeah. mean, it seems like things are hopping I, and moving. Uh, you know, Main Street, uh, I think all the restaurants, we've got a, a nice little um, gathering uh, of restaurants. Exactly. Looking places. forward to Bittersweet when it reopens. Yes. That'll be fun. That'll to be a lot of add fun. To the, add to the mix. Um, and, uh, you know, we have morning places and evening places and I everything right, right in Little Main Street. It's so funny, kind of fun. you know, just being out and about, you run into people who are, oh, it's busy getting on and off the train. People are getting off at Southboro. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm always talking with people that, um, oh, I live in Hopkinton. Oh, really? They're new, relatively yep. new, a couple of years. And love it, love it, love it. They just go on and on. And I just smile because we all love our little town. And I wonder, does everybody feel this way about their town in Massachusetts? I only know this town mm -hmm. in terms of that kind of. Well, do you feel that way where you grew up in Ohio or Pennsylvania? Well, I do have a fondness for Cincinnati and all that, but I mean. No, maybe because it's small. Uh, there's more of an uh, intimacy, it feels, with the whole community. Maybe, I don't maybe know. if I, you know, I think about where I used to live in California, and I, and I liked it, mm -hmm. and it certainly had s some great amenities, but it didn't quite have the same affinity. Now, it was a larger town. It was about right, 70,000 right. people. That's a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, you know, like, well, that's but and, and yours was, yeah. was a we big had a city lot to compared do. to, yeah. yeah. But, but I will tell you that... Um, and we identified with our neighborhood, so there yes. was a little bit of that more than the whole but, city. But I love how, you know, when I think about when I first moved to town, I mean, there's been some changes that I, I you know, the loss of, like, Kalel's and whatnot that I'm mm -hmm. sad. But there have been a lot of really good changes. Oh, and, yeah. And, you know, I like that we have, um, you know, a, a nice little... We've got the spoon in 110, and then you go downtown, and we've got that little mm -hmm. group. And you've got out um, uh, on the corner of, of Main and South, then, you know, a group of restaurants out there. And then as you moved on the other side of town, you've got um, headed to Ashland. And then we've got the spoken mm -hmm. hub of, you know, <laughs> Uh, run into Carbonis town and Startline <laughs> and you know and Cornell's and so you know but you know, even TJ Spirits half of it's oh, 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 yeah, yeah, don't forget the, the deck deal. I love but you know when you Good, I mean, what I like about the small town feel that's different than in other places we've lived we lived in Minneapolis for you know for yep. 14 years before we moved here and I liked it there, but you can be, you can walk around and go anywhere, even by yourself, and you're going to run into Someone three you people know. that you know, and enough to chat and talk to. Yeah. And, and sometimes you like want to run away from it, and sometimes <laughs> you want to be there for it. <laughs> then I'll go all the way to Westboro. <laughs> but you, you know, as someone who just, you know, grew up across the border and stuff like that, but you know, the border, the border of Ashland. <laughs> I, 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 mean, I grew up on the Ashland Hopkinton border, but yeah. in Ashland. Not talking politically. And, uh, <laughs> is that yes? Anywhere I go, pretty much, I know someone. You're running to someone. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, I went to we went. Michael and I did a late Valentine's dinner this past week. We went to John Stone's for oh, um, nice. this haunted happening thing, and they had a paranormal come in to tell the stories. Oh, that's fun. And um, they, it was communal dining, so you were assigned tables. Two tables over was a girl graduated high school two, oh, two years before me, and straight across from me, I didn't recognize them, but it was three siblings. One graduated the year behind me, 
One graduated with my sister, and one graduated with my babysitter. That was wow. the oldest, and it was a skip. Everybody in the room, and, <laughs> but it was you know, it was like then talking about people you have in common. But talk about they had a paranormal because that's a haunted restaurant. Did, that did, sounds did they fun. Talk about the restaurant even. at all, or what? Well, it was all about the restaurant, the okay. history of the restaurant, and I wanted to go because. Um, what well, people know is Lunkers next door it used to be called the Ashland News Store or the General Store, mm -hmm. and I worked there as a you know, as a teenager, and so Frankie Fournier, the sister, her name was Frankie, but um, she owned that, and the brother Cappy owned John Stones. So yeah. we did a lot of things between. So I'd been in almost every nook and cranny of both buildings, so he, and hearing the stories, but had never really seen anything myself. So I wanted to hear what mm. they had done, and. Um, how fun. People had shared, a couple of people shared things that they knew or people that worked there and stuff. But it was, it was a good time. It was nice. Mm -hmm. and um, Food's great always there. The food's right? good, yeah. I mean, it was, it was already a set kind of little buffet they had done. Mm -hmm. And it was, you were, it was more for the little paranormal. Oh, and he's fun. been doing stuff with John Stones for probably 20 years. Wow. Yeah. Fun, wow. fun, fun. But it was the first so, one they'd ever had. I they have another one in March. paranormals, you know, actually listened out and you could hear you yeah know, he had video like recordings of things he had done in the past oh, so he had okay. you listen to things mm -hmm. and then he'd go through the stories and tell you like okay this is when this person got shot this is when this person got hit on the head <laughs> this person got killed by a train out front this, you know wow. this goes to that. you know as as logical as i'd like to think i am my family has a house in their history that there have been multiple generations who i've known mm -hmm. you know my aunt my cousin and his daughter and it, and it was his aunt as well and they have stories about and all different stories and some were afraid to talk about it until my one relative had an experience and then it was like oh yeah me too oh yeah me too it's like okay <laughs> a different kind of me too <laughs> yeah i've been yeah. seeing yeah. i've been yeah. seeing ghosts yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean so the running into things as a small town person and growing up it's here is, is nice but i think the bigger part is you actually feel a very strong loyalty and you know, a strong yeah. loyalty to community. I mean, last week, my friend Billy Smith from growing up, his mother died. She was 94. Mm. And, you know, I go to the wake. He flew in from Arizona. He's the youngest of six kids. And um, there are three other kids I graduated, kids, mm -hmm. you know, we're in our mid-50s, that I graduated there with from high school. Wow. So, you know, it's that where you feel like a loyalty. It's like, you know, let's come back and say, if I know when my mother passed away, these same people came out for mine. Yeah. Well, speaking of connecting, we certainly are. Oh, it's my good yeah, to talk to everybody. Yeah, we yeah. can keep and chatting. We, we can keep chatting. <laughs> we've, got some, we've got some upcoming guests, and I know we're going over time, but Christine Chapman from Education Station will be coming on. Yeah, Norma Kamalo may be Stephanie coming on. Stephanie G. from The Jewelers will be coming on, talking about appraisals and insurance. And um, Carolyn Dow Fitzpatrick from Wardrobe Angels will be with us all coming up Stay in the next tuned. few episodes. Happy Woo. New Year's. Thank first, you. First <laughs> time back. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.